Hello, welcome to Dirty Secrets of Scotland, Dirty Wee Secrets. I said in a previous video that I was going to do a couple of short videos to talk about gaining permission for both metal detecting and for bottle digging. This is the first of these videos and it's about metal detecting. By far the most important thing that you can do before you go to ask permission is plenty of research. Online research is your obvious choice, but there are also some great books out there like this one. Okay, I'm going to show you my favourite website now for research. It's called Past Map. I'm going to switch to the screen. Okay, this is pastmap.org.uk, which is the resource I use the most. Hit enter. Let's say Edinburgh. Hit enter. There we go. Now, the two filters that I use the most, one is Canmore, and two is Scheduled Monuments. Wow, there's a lot of Canmore in Edinburgh. The red here means scheduled. You can't metal detect scheduled areas. It's against the law. But I'll just show you what I mean. If you click on here, it opens on a new window. And it explains why it's scheduled. It tells you a bit about it as well. Edinburgh Castle, obviously scheduled. But all of these blue dots as well mean something else. This is another scheduled area. Scheduled. Can't go near them. Zoom out a bit and you just move this around to wherever you want to look. So, for example, let's have a look at some of these Canmores. No Canmores shown here. Zoom in a bit, I think. Yeah. So let's see what this was, just randomly. Farm cottages, ring ditch, linear features. Opens in a new window up here, and then it tells you all the details. And you can see from the photographs, crop marks, it tells you a bit about the history, or if there's any other metal detectors being used in the area, any finds, it's all there. So yeah, that's past map and that is an amazing resource. You've done all your research, you're clued up and you're ready to talk to some landowners. That's great. But I recommend you also get this, which is insurance by the NCMD. <laughs> Landowners are very busy people. The direct but polite approach will always win over a big spiel of nonsense. Hello Mr Landowner, this is my metal detector. This metal detector goes down 15 feet. It's much better than every other metal detector on the market. I'm the best metal detector as there is. I'm going to come in metal detector and I'm going to find a hoard on your land and we're going to be millionaires. Hi, I'm interested in local history and I've just come to ask permission to metal detect on your land. You've done your research. You've got your insurance. You've put the work in. You've spoken to the landowner. And they've granted you permission! Hooray! How do you keep it? The simple answer is respect. Respect for the landowner and respect for their land. Now, if you dig holes in the land, you fill them in. You don't go into fields where there's livestock. And if you find cool things, show them to them. Because at the end of the day, it's their land and they've got that right. If you keep pocketing everything, they're just gonna think you're a chancer and they're gonna tell you to beat it. So be honest, be open and respect the land. I hope that some of you have found that helpful. 
And if you have, give us a little like or say something in the comments, I'd appreciate it. And yeah, happy hunting and good luck. Thanks for watching. Underneath the soil or hidden in the ground, there's a lot of treasures to be found. Dirty secrets, dirty secrets of Scotland.